You know what's funny? My camera this entire time didn't start shutting off until now, when I'm trying to explain that my, um, my camera is blurry. It just doesn't like me talking about it, the malfunctions it's happening. But you know, that's fine. So I tried to record this video like 15 times. Well, okay, more like five, but, um, it keeps blur being really blurry, and I'm sorry that it's blurry, but there's nothing I can do because I don't want to keep filming it and then redoing it and redoing it, so this is the best I can do. So maybe the next one will be better. I'm really not good at shooting videos, I don't think. Hi again, it's Karen. Um, welcome to my channel, on my Tumblr, if you're watching this on there. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about how to stay healthy when you're on vacation. As some of you may know, I went to Maryland this past weekend and I had such a good time. I met the most amazing people in my life and I'm definitely thinking about coming back. So, um, a few tips that I can give you is if you ever go out to eat while you're there, which we did for every single um, meal we went out to eat, um, order water. Like, don't get alcohol, don't get any, like, like pop or anything. Just stick with getting water because then, I don't know, you don't have to worry about all of those calories and sugar and all that getting in your system. Um, if you do order alcohol, I recommend getting a glass of water and drinking one glass of water for every single glass of alcohol beverage that you have because it will help you not get drunk as fast. <laughs> um, another thing is if your hotel that you stay at has continental breakfast, then try to stay away from those waffles that they make or that they have there. Um, they have fruits like apples, bananas, oranges, all that good stuff. Um, they have yogurt, which is pretty good for you. Um, they also have cereal, but I'll stay away from the sugar, sugary cereals like Fruit Loops or anything. Just stick with like Cheerios and you'll be fine. Um, take advantage of that. Like don't, don't be like, oh, I don't want to get up that early. Like even if it's like nine in the morning and you stayed out till two in the morning, like literally just take advantage of that breakfast. Go downstairs, get breakfast, and then come back upstairs. At least, even if you just have to grab like an apple and stick it in the fridge that's in your room, like just do that. I've done that before. <laughs> that's what I did like this entire weekend. Um, another thing is you don't have to bring like your gym clothes or your gym shoes. You can just like you don't have to work out of the gym they have there. You can if you want, but I didn't really feel like doing that, and there was just more stuff that I had to bring with me, and I didn't want to bring that much stuff. So you can just you know exercise as much as you want. When you're at the airport, if you have to book it to a different gate and a different terminal, then trust me, you're going to have enough exercise for the weekend. Another tip that I can give you is, you know, if you don't feel like restricting your diet, you don't have to. Like, if you want to just go out crazy and get a bunch of breadsticks and pasta and carbs over at All Garden, go ahead and do that. That's what I did and I'm not regretting it at all. It was delicious and it was worth it. But another thing is, if you do decide, you know, I'm on a diet and I don't want to you know, feel bad about who I am or what I eat, like, don't, like, you don't have to. If your friends start making fun of you for having, you know, having, wanting to eat healthier, then fuck them. They don't matter. Like, just don't listen to them. And if your friends start saying that, you can either literally just, like, be them, hey, like, don't do that. I, you, this isn't your body, this isn't your choice, so let me do what I want to do. And if you're the kind of person that says that, like, you can suck it because... I hate those kind of people that do that. It's literally, it's like none of your business, so why does it even matter? Um, but I guess, like, if you just want to do it, like, do what you want to do. Like, you do you, boo-boo. You do you. That's an insane joke, you know, I that. Um, that's really all that I really have for you, because I, this entire vacation I didn't really use my camera all that much. I was going to film while I was up there, but we ended up doing way more than I thought we were gonna do, which is worth it in the end because I had a blast. Maybe next time I go on vacation I'll do some footage, but I obviously don't have any now. So I hope that this was somewhat informative and I'm sorry it's such a short video if it ends up being really short. <laughs> but I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life. See, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't have, I don't, why do I even have friends? I don't even know. Do you know? No? Hello? See, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm bored and I don't have friends so I'm talking to a camera. <laughs> okay, bye. There's a dude that's supposed to come here to get this telephone wire that snapped in my backyard because we had a huge storm two days ago and he isn't here yet. I keep thinking he's gonna, thinking he's gonna just walk through this fence and be like, hey, what's up? Like, I'm just sitting here talking to my camera. Don't judge me. 
So I'm about to show you the damage that has been done to my backyard since the storm has happened. Since we haven't had time to clean it up. So, be prepared to see the worst. Here we go. We have this going on here on my table right here. Can you see that? There we go. Now we're in focus. All this crap. Uh, over here, this is where I was filming before. This is all that was behind me. All that crap. Oh, I don't want to see it into my... I'm going to show you this little electrical wire that had happened. It's right up here. You see that? Right there. Yeah, we don't, we don't even use our wire because we, uh, we have um, our phone wires under the ground, which I don't even know why we use that because I have a cell phone and I use that. I found this bracelet today. It's got like Nala and Simba on it. I got it when I was like five and I found it and I'm really excited so I wore it because this is my favorite bracelet. I had one of those Pocahontas too, but I don't know what happened to it. But you know, the Lion King. You gotta go with Lion King all the way. Real talk. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just an idiot. My butt hurts.